Tonight, and I'll just try to get right on into the message, give you what God has laid on my heart. Uh, but uh, be in Isaiah chapter number 42. Amen. Isaiah 42. And you pray that God would just let me get myself out of the way and God would just, uh, just, uh, just have His way tonight. I know that I can't do a thing without God, but I know that if there's any preaching done, it'll be done by Him tonight. So Isaiah 42 and verse number 1. The Bible said, Behold my servant, whom I uphold, mine elect, in whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. He shall not fail, nor be discouraged, till he have set forth, sir, till he have set judgment in the earth and the isles shall wait for his law thus saith God the Lord he that created the heavens and stretched stretched them out he that spread forth the earth spread forth the earth and that which cometh out of it he that giveth bread to the people upon it and spirit to them that walk therein I the Lord have called thee in righteousness and will hold thine hand and will keep thee and give thee for a covenant of the people for a light of the Gentiles to open the blind eyes to bring out the prisoners from the prison and from them that sit in darkness out of the prison house and he said I am the Lord that is my name and my glory will I not give to another neither my praise to graven images behold the former things are come to pass and new things do I declare before they spring forth I tell you of them that's all that I'm going to read dear heavenly father we do thank you God tonight for our Lord just another time to be gathered our Lord here together again we thank you our Lord for the songs that's been sung we, I thank you Lord for every soul God that our Lord is here with us tonight and I, I pray Lord that you'd bless them and our God just say Lord just give them what they need and our Lord feed us now God from that table and Lord we pray that whatever's done our Lord would be done for your glory and done for your honor oh God and it's in Jesus' name that we do pray. And amen. And now I want to preach to you tonight. Amen. On a competition that you'll never win. Amen. A competition that you'll never win. Now, brother, I remember as a child. Amen. The old saying. Amen. If at first you don't succeed. Amen. Try, try again. And now we've all heard that. Uh, brother, I remember hearing, uh, amen, amen, that practice makes uh, uh, perfect, amen. Or in other words, uh, amen, if you ain't doing good at something, uh, amen, if you can't seem to win, uh, amen, the battle you're fighting, uh, uh, just keep on uh, doing it, amen, and finally you'll come through. Uh, uh, but friend, I want to tell you tonight uh, uh, that there is a competition uh, uh, that you'll never win. Uh, and you say, preacher, what? What is that? I will let me tell you. It's a competition with God. Amen for glory. Amen. Now there's many in church today that's after that very thing. They're after their own glory. Brother, they're amen. They want their name lifted high up. They want their name. Brother, put in light. But friend, you'll never amen win that battle. Amen. God said, I am the Lord. He said, I am God and the Lord is my name. And he said, my glory will I not. Amen. Give to another. Amen. I appreciate tonight. Amen. People like Mike and Dottie, I believe their heart is in it. Brother, for the right reason. But I've seen singers. Brother, that all they're in it for it's their name and light amen all they're in it for is amen the next appointment amen all the stage have you ever heard anybody brag amen about how many states that they've sung in how many funerals that they preach amen how many this how many that a friend that they've done but God said I'll not give my glory to you a friend 
let me tell you today, amen, let me just say this, amen, if you come to this church, amen, to get glory for yourself, you're coming to the wrong church. If you come here and to have somebody pat you on the back, you're coming to the wrong church. Amen, if you're coming here looking for somebody that won't preach against sin, move on down the road. You're coming to the wrong church. If you come here, amen, you lay out, amen, for a week or two, and you get mad because I ask, amen, where you been? Amen, you're coming to the wrong church. I mean, amen, that's just so hard of a pastor tonight. Amen, today, I'm not in it for my glory. Amen, God said, I'll not give my glory to Robert Dockery. I'll not give my glory to Mike and Donnie Lane. I'll not give my glory to any man in this world. He said, I am the Lord. I am the Lord thy God. Friend, I want to tell you, amen, amen, playing that game, trying to get glory, trying to lift up yourself. It's a dangerous game. God ain't going to fool with you. And God ain't going to put up with it. Amen, there's some today. Amen, they wouldn't be here. I mean, some singers, if they can't have $5,000, amen, they ain't going to be here. If they can't have three hundred, amen, they ain't going to be here. Amen, 300 people, they'd not be here. Amen, but it ain't about my glory. And it ain't about your glory. Amen, we're here tonight to give God glory. We're here tonight to lift up the name that is above every name. The name that every knee is going to bow to. Every tongue is going to confess of. Amen, the name. What is that name? Well, the Bible said and called him the rose of Sharon. It called him the bride and the morning star. But what is that name? Amen. There's one name that's worthy of glory. There's one name that's worthy of your praise. His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. That's the name that you'll bow to. That's the name that I'll bow to. Amen. It's a competition, friend, that you'll never win. I'm trying to rob God of his glory. God's going to get his glory one way or another. God's going to get it. Amen. Either on your deathbed or in judgment or here in this life. Friends, you better give God glory while you got breath. All the glory in the world. It belongs to God tonight. Amen. Amen. It's a competition. And people ain't never going to win. Amen. That's why some, that's why some, amen, they can't stay put. Amen. No word. That's why it ain't happy no word. Amen. They're, amen. They're after it for glory. Amen. They go here for a while. Amen. While everything's up. While everything, man, everybody's just shouting. And then they go on down the road. Amen. Trying to find glory. But what it is, is they want somebody to pat them on the back and say, boy, we enjoy your testimony. Boy, we enjoy your standards. Amen. But, amen, it's not my glory. And it's not your glory. Uh, but what it is now uh, is that people figure them out uh, and then they go on down the road. Uh, but friend, let me tell you, uh, amen, about a man uh, uh, by the name of Simon. Uh, the Bible said, uh, amen, that Philip went down uh, and preached a great revival. Uh, I mean, souls are getting saved. Uh, amen, many uh, are coming to know God uh, and getting baptized. Uh, and the Bible said uh, uh, that Paul heard uh, or that Peter heard uh, that they had not received. Uh, some of them had not uh, received the Holy Ghost. Uh, so he said, something's wrong here, boy. 
boys. That man, some ain't right. And so he went down, and there was a man that's a following him around. And the Bible said, Amen, that Peter there, I laid hands on a man, and he said, Receive ye of the Holy Ghost. And that man was filled with the Holy Ghost. And old Simon stood by. I know Simon was a sorcerer. And brother, when the word of God I came down to his land, he laid everything down and he said, I'll follow God. I but oh, you better watch. Amen. We don't know. I pray, man, I don't know nobody's heart. I but God knows every heart. Amen. Today, the Bible said and that old Simon looked at Peter and he said, I'd like to have. Amen. What you got? I'd like to have that power. I'd like to lay hands on somebody. Amen. Amen. Give them the Holy Ghost. Had a man tell me one time, he said, I'd like to lay hands on people and heal them. I said, That'd be good. I said, But you know what? It'd be better if you just pray and let God do it and let God get the glory. God ain't going to play games with you. God ain't going to give you glory. God's going to keep the glory for itself. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's a competition. You ain't never going to win. Amen. Trying to, oh, amen. Amen. Compete with God. I'm trying to get glory. Old Simon said, he said, boy, I'd like to have that. Amen. I'd like to have what you got, Peter. And the Bible said, Amen. That Peter looked at him. He said, Amen. You know what Simon did? He said, Here's some money. Amen. Let me offer you a little money that I might receive this power. Amen. That you've got. And the Bible said that Peter, Amen, said, Your money, I perish with you. He said, I perceive that thou art in the gall of bitterness and the bond of iniquity. He said, Pray and repent that God I would forgive you for your sin amen oh what was Simon wanting he wanted glory for himself he wanted pray many had pride that's all that it is people want glory that's why they're here one day amen over there the next that's why they're doing this and doing that amen now friend I don't know anything to tell you amen but the God, God he's the only one I don't deserve your glory Ain't no singing group deserves your glory. Amen. Whatever you got. Amen. Give it to God. I lift them hands to God. I'm not to no man. Amen. God ain't gonna share his glory with you. He said, I am the Lord. I am a jealous God. He's a jealous God. Amen. He'll not let you give glory to yourself or to nobody else. God said, if you're gonna serve me, you'll have to put me first. And love me with all your heart. Amen. Amen. God ain't going to share it with you. Amen. God ain't going to share it with you. That's what people's looking for tonight. Amen. Amen. They're wanting to hear somebody tell them, boy, you can sing. Amen. A lot of preachers tonight, they're looking for somebody to tell them, boy, you can preach. Amen. You do a good, amen, do a good job preaching. Amen. Oh, I appreciate compliments. Amen. I do. Amen. It's good to know the Lord. Amen. Speaking to somebody through you. Amen. But it ain't about my glory. Amen. I just, I don't want to be lifted up. As somebody gets a bragging on me, I get to real, I get real uncomfortable. I just want to crawl under the seat. Amen. That's the way that I am. Because it's a scary thing. God said, I'll not give my glory to you. Amen. God ain't going to let his glory sit right here on the front pew. Amen. It don't matter. I'm telling you and I, just like in Balaam. Amen. In his day, I couldn't get up behind the pulpit. And if God wanted to use him, God could preach him like his. Amen. Let the glory come down. God ain't going to, amen, give me no glory. God ain't going to give you no glory. Amen. It's no competition that you'll never win. It's time our people quit playing games with the Lord tonight. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. That's why some, amen. You know, amen. Those kids right now, they've been drugged every church. 
and they don't know that they don't know what doctrine is. They don't know what the truth is. They've been drove, drug, drugged every church around. Amen. They're here one Sunday. They're over there another Sunday. There, we like to hear all kinds of preachers, preacher. I'm gonna tell you why people do that. Amen. They can lie to themselves. Amen. They can lie to Amen me or anybody else. But there's one reason that people jump from over here, over here, and all the way around. Amen. Now there's good churches. There's good men of God. But when somebody's jumping around, just some loose living preacher that don't ever preach against anything, I'll tell you why they do it. Amen. They don't want to be held accountable and they want glory for themselves. Amen. If you come here and you're faithful here, amen, I'm going to hold you accountable under this standard right here. Amen. You're expected to live by this book. You're expected to live right and to be holy, not to shack up and not to dress like a whore, not to dress like a world. Amen. You know why people I go around everywhere. They're after their own glory. But God said, I ain't going to give it to you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I ain't going to give it to you, he said. Amen. That place in my mouth feels pretty good right now. Amen. I ain't going to give that glory to you. Amen. That's what he said. I ain't going to give glory to you. Amen. He ain't going to give it to you. He ain't going to give it to you. He ain't going to give it to none of you. He ain't going to give it to me. Amen. But oh, if we could have a day. Amen. Like in Solomon's day. When he said, Lord, I'm the heaven of heavens. I cannot contain thee. How much less of this house that I build. Glory to God. That's what we ought to give. Glory to his name. Amen. We ought to realize that it ain't about me. It ain't about you. But who's it about? It's all about the Lamb. I was slain on Calvary. I glory to God. He ain't going to give no praise, no glory to nobody but Himself. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm just going to preach tonight. Amen. I get so tired of people apologizing to me for not coming. I do. Well, we'd have been here, but amen, we went over to this church tonight. Amen. We'd have been here, but we went over here. We'd have been here, but we went over there. We'd have been here, but we're, here's what they ought to say. We'd have been at Valley View, but we wanted somebody to tell us how good our testimony was. We'd have been at Valley View, but we wanted somebody to brag on us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You say, preacher, who you're preaching to? I'm preaching to whoever. Amen. Has ears. I let him hear what the Spirit has said unto the churches. Amen. I was talking to somebody the other day. Uh, they said that so and so come to church. Uh, I said, no, they went up yonder. Amen. I said, I, I named the church. Uh, I said, up, amen. I said, they apologize to me. I said, I just wish they wouldn't do it. Uh, I wish they wouldn't apologize. Uh, it's just all vain words. Uh, but amen, this is what that man of God said. Uh, amen. He said, you know that they know they know that they ain't doing right. Uh, you know that they know they're doing wrong. Uh, but oh, the devil's got them blinded. Uh, the devil's got them blinded. Uh, but God God said, you ain't going to win this game. God said, you ain't going to win it. My glory is for me. Glory to God. Amen. Praise the Lord. The devil done told me I ought not preach this. Amen. The devil done told me I ought not preach this. Amen. Amen. But that's how I know God's in it. That's how I know God's in it. That's how I know glory to God. I'm telling you, friend. Amen. Amen. When people wind up with their young and amen, knocking some young girl up, they go wonder why in the world they didn't stay under the truth. Amen. Glory to God. There's good churches around. Don't get me wrong. But God don't move you. From somewhere it's got a standard. Yeah. They're jumping around. Amen. Amen. See, there's more to it than seeing people raise their hand when you yeah. testify yeah. and when you sing. Yeah. Amen. There's more to it than all that. 
Hey Amen. I'm telling you, friend. I mean, amen. There's, amen. Let's just be honest tonight. There's people I used to have confidence in. I wouldn't. I wouldn't ask him to pray. Amen. For the dog that I don't have. Amen. Because they couldn't get a hold of God. Amen. I mean, that's just the way it is. I just say, preacher, you ought not be critical. Amen. I ought to be truthful and tell you what's right. Amen. I'm telling you, friend. Amen. It's a dangerous shame and to play games on God. God ain't gonna give His glory to no man or no woman tonight. Amen. He ain't gonna do it. He ain't gonna do it. Amen. I ain't gonna preach long. Amen. Old Nebuchadnezzar. Amen. Y'all remember Nebuchadnezzar, don't you? Amen. You know what God told him through the bat in the mouth of Isaiah? In the mouth of them old men of God, he said, there's going to come a day I'm going to bring a country from the north and they're going to come in and invade you. And for 70 years, Israel's going to go into captivity. And that's exactly what Israel did. And God used an ungodly man by the name of Nebuchadnezzar to come in and amen. I bring judgment on him. Amen. Right now, everything's going good. Amen. But when your health fails, amen, let me tell you who they call on. Amen. When they need somebody to pray for them, they don't call that loose pastor that don't live right. They call that one down the road that's got standards and preaches holiness. Amen. You know what they do? They get cancer. They'll come in, get anointed. Amen. Never see them again. Amen. Ain't no wonder the cancer comes back. God didn't fail, but they failed. Amen. Use God like a spare tar. They wonder why God ain't around. Amen. God said, I am the Lord. And I won't give my glory to you. And I won't give my glory to nobody else. Matt ain't going to give it to you. Amen. If the Lord would anoint you, you'd preach a house down. God ain't going to give his glory to you. Amen. God ain't going to give his glory to you. Amen. He just ain't going to do it. Amen. That's all there is to Amen. Well, I'd like to have the primitive quartet down there. Amen. I wouldn't. Amen. We'd have to sit out church. I love to hear them sing. I really do. Amen. Somebody sent me a picture the other day. Amen. They was having a revival or sub tent meeting out down in North Carolina. Amen. It said, you had all these preachers listed. And on the night the primitive quartets are singing, ain't no preacher listed. And it says the last night that they're ever going to sing. That's the draw to that revival now. The primitive quartet. Amen. All that son. I ain't saying they're like this, but all that some of them's in it for. Amen. It's their glory. All that some of them's in it for. It's their name. All that some of them's in it for. It's to have their name in lights. Oh, my good daughter, I love you. I just keep on doing what you're doing. I'm giving God glory. Your name may not be in lights, but one day when judgment comes, you'll be glad how you did what you did. Amen. Praise the Lord. Used to be a group. When I was, we had that revival down yonder at Fort Blackmore beside the front porch. There used to be a group. I'd, amen. Brother Brian, he'd call them. He'd get them to come. Amen. I found out real quick what they in it for. How much money you going to give us? Amen. I mean, that's what they asked me. Then I found out they was getting tattoos. Amen. I mean, they didn't have them before they were saved. They might have, but they was getting more of them after them. After they claimed to be saved. I'm telling you, friend, you got to watch what comes into church. you got to watch what gets them sing. Amen. If you want some, amen, if you come here thinking it don't matter what you dress like, amen, how you talk, how you live, amen, this ain't the place for you. But if you want the old time way and the old time gospel, amen, and the power of God and glory given to his name, I'll try my best to give you what God has put in the book. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. The Bible said that Nebuchadnezzar come down. Amen. Went in there and took them all captive. Amen. He took Zedekiah's sons and amen. He killed them right before his eyes and then put out Zedekiah's eyes and then led him down to Babylon. Amen. In fetters and chains. And the Bible, y'all know the dream. I bet he had another dream. Amen. He done asked Daniel about the dream of the image. I bet he had another dream. And the Bible said, he said, I was in my palace. I was flourishing in my palace. Everything was going good. But one night in my dream, amen, I seen a tree. And he said there was a hewer of wood. I said, cut down the tree. And the Bible.
Bible said uh, that the tree was cut down uh, and everything was scattered. Uh, amen. All the fruit was scattered. Uh, amen. And old Nebuchadnezzar, uh, it troubled him. Uh, and he said, Oh, Daniel, uh, tell me what my dream, uh, tell me what it means. Uh, and Daniel said, King, uh, I'll tell you what it means. Uh, God has raised you up. Uh, amen. God has given you great glory. Uh, he said, But God's going to cut you down uh, and you'll become, uh, Amen, like a beast. Uh, uh, God said, Let his heart, uh, Amen, be given a heart uh, uh, like unto the beast. Uh, and the Bible said, Time went on. Uh, amen. Twelve years. Uh, I believe it said, uh, Our brother went on uh, at Nebuchadnezzar one day. Uh, I was outside the palace uh, and he looked up uh, and he said, Look what I've done. Uh, look at everything I did. Uh, how that, Amen, I worked for this. Uh, and it said, in That very hour of the thing that God said, uh, I would come to pass. It came to pass. Amen. God ain't going to give his glory to nobody. Amen. Ain't going to give his glory. Amen. Ain't going to give his glory to man. Ain't going to give his glory to woman. I believe. I tell you why some people's a mess. They're letting their wife lead them around everywhere. And I'll tell you why some people's in a mess. They're letting their kids lead them around everywhere. Amen. But if it, if it ain't, amen, if some of our men, I mean, not, not just to valid you, but if some of our men in our churches don't put their britches on and start acting like men and saying, this is how we're going to run the house. This is what we're going to do. Amen. Don't matter what you say. I mean, amen, God, yeah, amen, women are, I mean, God, amen, that don't mean God thinks less of a woman. I but a woman's got a rightful place. Ain't that the Bible? It's a man's job to lead the house. Amen. To be the head of the house. Else. And let me say this: I when a wife dishonors her husband, I see dishonors his head, and his head is the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. I didn't know I was gonna preach all this tonight. Amen. But it's a competition. You ain't never gonna win. Amen. You can't compete with God. Amen. There's churches out there trying to compete with the Lord. That's what they're trying to do. Amen. They're trying to compete with, amen. They've got the youth group, and that's good. Amen. They've got all the extracurriculars, that's good. Amen. But what they're trying to do is draw them in with this and draw them in with that. But if the Word can't do it, amen, if the Word can't do it, ain't nobody, ain't nothing going to get them. God said, My glory will I not give to you. It's time we say, God, the glory is yours. It ain't mine. Amen. It ain't your glory. It ain't my glory. All the glory belongs to God. Amen. Oh, Nebuchadnezzar found out you can't win this game. He said, look at everything I built. Look at everything that I've reared up. In that very hour, in that very day, the thing came to pass. Now directly, not too long after that, his hands, amen, grown out, his nails grown out. Amen, look like a wild man. Amen, look like a beast of a field out there eating grass. Amen, like the oxen. Amen, you know what God will do? That God will say, I'm going to get my glory out of you. Amen. You can either give me glory and quit. Amen, it ain't that. I mean, some's giving him glory, but they want a little of it for themselves. Those preachers today, all they're after is a pat on the back. But I'll tell you what I'm after. When I go home at night, I want to know that I give you what God has laid on my heart. I want God to be pleased with me whether anybody else is or not. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. If the whole church is mad, if God's happy, that's all that matters. Amen. If the whole church, amen, is mad, as long as God is pleased. Amen. Well, if, you, if I didn't make some mad sometimes, I wouldn't be doing something right. I wouldn't be. There's been people left here mad at me. Amen. Somebody told me the other day, amen, I told you I'm sick and tired of apologizes, uh, apologies. I said, it's getting to the point where I'm more surprised when you come. That's why I said, amen, never got nothing back on that. 
I mean, amen. I didn't know what to say. I don't know any other way to shoot it straight. Amen. Be what I am. I tell you what I think. I, amen. I've had enough people beat around the bush to me. I lie to me and tell me this and tell me that. I'm going to tell you what's right. I'm going to tell you the truth. And if it kills granny, amen. I preach a funeral. That's all right. Just let her die. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'd preach it. It didn't matter who who was here. Amen. Amen. I, amen. It's got to be preached. It's got to be preached. It's got to be preached. Amen. God ain't in this getting glory for yourself, junk. God ain't in this pats on the back. God ain't in this having your name up on the amen up on the lights. God ain't in this. Amen. Amen. You know what we ought to have out there? Amen. What would you say? And amen. I know people take it wrong if you put this. But instead of my name, or just say the Lord. Amen. Or just say the Lord. Amen. Amen. Ain't nothing wrong with having my name out there. That ain't what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Amen. What I'm saying is it ain't my glory. It ain't your glory. It's God's glory. He said, I will not give my glory to nobody. Amen. You can say what you want to. The reason people go around hopping, go around hopping. Amen. Somebody say, I don't want to be a church hopper preacher. Well, amen. If you don't want to be a whore, amen, don't stand on the street corner in Las Vegas dressed like a whore. People won't label you a whore. And if you don't hop churches, people won't label you a church hopper. <laughs> amen. That's why some are. They're somewhere else every Sunday. They're somewhere else every Sunday. Amen. I ain't saying, I ain't saying nobody here like that ain't that, ain't that way not. But we've got some that come here. I mean, they can't make, they're either at home or they're somewhere else. You see, I might, might see them once a month. Might see them once every now and then. Amen. But old Valley View, that's where we go. Don't tell them I'm your pastor. <laughs> Amen. Tell them one of them loose men. Tell them one of them men preaches, preaches everything's all right. Amen. I, amen. I'm just telling you, it ain't everybody cares the Bible really preaches it straight. It ain't everybody cares the Bible. Amen. Really preaches against sin. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm telling you, I'm glad there's been men in my life that preached against sin and told me what was right. It said you can't have glory. It's all God's. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. It's a dangerous game. It's a competition. That ain't never gonna win. Amen. And when the Lord tells you, see, I heard somebody say one time, they said, Well, Amen. It's talking about Amen how people's in it for their self. People's in it for their own glory. Amen. See, a lot of evangelists, Amen, they're in it for their own glory. A lot of pastors, they're in it for their own glory. But a real man of God is interested in one thing. He's interested in seeing people get right. He's interested in seeing you move up. Amen. And when people don't, when people that was faithful ain't here, a real man of God, it breaks his heart. It does. A real man of God, now Ireland, he ain't concerned a bit. He ain't concerned a bit. But a real pastor, it bothers him. And he loses sleep. And he wonders where they're at. And he wonders why people used to be on fire. Amen. Now they're jumping around everywhere. Amen. I'm telling you, friend, it bothers me. I mean, amen, it does. I've laid in the bed at night. And hey, amen. And just tossed and turned. Amen. Wor- amen. Worrying about people's souls. I really have. Amen. But God said, he said, just keep on preaching. I just keep on preaching. I'm Maybe one day some will wake up and realize it's a competition. You'll never win. Amen. Glory to God. I love you tonight, church. Amen. God's glory, it ain't for me to have. A lot of people today, see, kids are taught the sports figures, give them glory. The president, give him glory. Hey, but all these people give you glory. Amen. But what they ought to be doing is, you know what old Nebuchadnezzar finally did, and I'm closing. Here's what they ought to be doing. Nebuchadnezzar finally, when he got down, and Daniel come down to him, 
Nebuchadnezzar said. See, now when Daniel, when God delivered the three Hebrew boys, amen, Daniel was back there watching and delivered them out of the fiery furnace. And when back when Daniel told him about the dream, amen, and amen told him what his dream was, he said the God of Daniel. That's what he called him. But after old Nebuchadnezzar got out yonder and he said, amen, went plumb crazy, amen, out there eating grass, out there with, amen, talons on him, amen. You know what he said? He said, the Lord of heaven, amen, maybe not in these words, but he didn't call him Daniel's God no more but he called him the God of heaven the God that created it all friend you know what he did he said I'm done I'm getting glory for myself I believe I'll give it to the one that deserves it amen Amen. glory to God amen if you need to pray tonight just come pray amen I wish people would wake up I really do